Bruno! You coming in this now? Bruno! 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 Bruno, he's obviously the same, he's earned loads of plaudits. Where does he fit in terms of all time central midfielders for Newcastle? Central midfielders. Central midfielders. Ah, he's, he's, pro- he's number one for me, probably. Number like. one, uh, yeah. K- Kabai was obviously special. But to be fair, Kabai, Teori was. It's a different type I'm, of player. I'm going to come in with Teori, along with. Like, I, think, I think when Teori was there, Kabai performed, and it's a, maybe it's a bit. It's yeah. Something similar with Joe Litton in yeah. Bruno. For me, Joe Litton, it's almost like he's, he's sort of the most important player because if you lose him, who else can come in and do the job that yeah. he does? Yeah. He runs non stop. Like, he re- will lose the ball, he just wins it back. It's, you know what I mean? It's, they're different types of players, but. If you're going off ability, talent, I mean, what he does with the ball and that, he's by uh, Bruno's number one. Number one, yeah. Like that. Number one for me, same as that. I mean, you're looking at like two comparisons there. For me, Czech, and like, like obviously, club, like for me, cult hero. I'll, you, he'll, feel, I've got a signed picture, I'll check on me while. So I love the kid a bit. He was on, <laughs> yeah. I love him. He made goodbye for me. And it's very similar to, like, for me, Gamoresh is the most well rounded player we've had in centre midfield, full, do- full stop. Nice. Kabai was mint, like, spraying the ball, passing the ball, yeah. going about, phenomenal, but he didn't do, he, I mean, he's a bit dirty, he'd done the, done the nasty stuff when he had to, but Teori helped him massively. Yeah, the rock. And it's similar now, like, Joe Litton helps, obviously, Bruno massively, and but I think will Bruno's will the will most well rounded player. Willick, since, since he's sort of coming in that midfield role yeah. alongside Bruno, Willick's got the legs as well, he's doing the dirty work. But to be fair, I think every player, every sort of player like that needs someone alongside them that, yeah. can, that can sort of that take them out when they need the eyes. So, but I'd be special Bruno, like, he's probably the, probably the best player. Him and Trippi, I'd say for me, the two best players I've seen play in the club. Yeah. But as I say, I, I'm only 24, I, I grew up under my gosh. Team, so <laughs> it's, it's, not really, it's, it's not really an impressive <laughs> thing to say, like, but... Uh, I uh, the two uh, him and Trippi off for me number like, yeah. probably track number one. I think. Yeah. And then, and then you've got Bruno as well. So obviously we've, we've seen him for a while now. You can see how good he's going to be. Yeah. How how good is he? And where does he fit in Newcastle overall midfielders? He's got, to, got to be there. He's got to be there, doesn't yeah. he? Like you see, um, obviously we we were seeing the last one. A lot of the fans all talk about was probably Kabai. Was the last bit of real class we had in there. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously since he left us, he's never really yeah. you know on, yeah. been up there. But yeah, it's, is, he, is he better than Kabai? I would say so personally. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, a lot more passion in him as well. Yeah, yeah. you can see even with his tackle against Leicester. Yeah. we were just discussing that before. He seems like he's got a great bond with the with the fans, the fans yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, he's definitely all for the team, isn't he? He's not just yeah. for himself. You know, he's, he's unselfish. You know, he have a go himself as well. He'll yeah. get back. He'll go forward. He's got to be reverent, hasn't he? The way he switches the ball, his little sort of one twos he does. Him and Alma. Yeah, he yeah. loves a little one two, doesn't he? Yeah, he's giving he's goal, top. Where, where, where would you rank them then if you had to put him in central midfielders for Newcastle? He's got to be up there, hasn't he? Yeah. Because I mean, you've talked about before our era, but I mean, any, we any, can't be talking. Yeah. Well, I'm Keegan, just talking about Keegan era, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little, so. yeah, but for me, yeah, he's, he's got to be up there, like you say. He's got that Brazilian magic, hasn't what, he? One of the best ever. He's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to be for us, yeah. 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 Right, fantastic lads, thank yeah, you very much. In terms of Bruno, he's obviously fantastic for Newcastle. Where does he fit in the overall central midfield? He wants to be a Brazilian manager, man. <laughs> he's got he's got the manager's job with the fucking <laughs> sell him. Uh, top three. The kid not there. You coming in, right? Wait, Speak, I, speaking of Bruno, one of the questions we're asking Newcastle fans is where does he fit in the overall central midfield Newcastle players of all time? Top three. Top three. Who's your top three? Probably Beardsley. In order, in order. How are we going? Beardsley. Beardsley top of both years. Probably yeah. Bruno. Bruno, yeah, I'll is agree. that good? Agree. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Bruno. In terms of Newcastle's overall central midfield as ever, where does he fit into that? He's up there for the very best. I've seen some class midfielders like Rob Lees, Peter Beasley, Gary Speeds as well, Leon Kibai. But this guy, I'll tell you something, right? I'm a Mears. I was surprised that he joined us, right? Because I would go after him. I also wanted him as well. But we've got him back door and got this guy. 35 million quid, 36 million quid. Last year, 40 mil. That's the, that has got to be the bargain. That is the well, for me, the best pound for pound spending alongside Botman in the history of Newcastle United. This guy is destined for the very top. He came for a project. And you know what? We can make this guy's dreams come true. Look at Tottenham, Austin's dream. And he has to come, it's going to be Bruno's dream. Because you know why? Because this guy is going to take us to another level. Yeah. So is, is he the best that you say then there? Is he the I best of all time? I would say he's going to be the best of all time. I'm telling you that now because this guy, he's a footballer, he's a baller. And I, you know what it is with this guy? 
in players football and his possibilities create he's just going to get better and better and better why is he not being played much for the Brazilian national team at it's better than the Pukata it's better than the Fred this guy he, is, he should be in the middle and this is why you're going to hang on to this guy for a long, long time. Yeah. If you win a title, he's going to be a part of it. If you get in the Champions League, he's being a part of it. If you get in the top four finishing, I guarantee you one thing, he'll be there as well. Yeah. <laughs> and who were? Edit. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>